Happy Patriot Day. Between insanity and I, and I, and I, and I and this is liberty and sanity. One, 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 forty-one. Apparently, uh, September 11th is my pen sanity for the year update to a couple collections. Uh, because I haven't done a Liberty and Sanity pen sanity since episode 105, exactly one year ago. Where do we begin? Way back on the second pen sanity, which was. Liberty Insanity 20. I talked about Odyssey of the Mind and their mascot named Omer. Omer the Raccoon. Computer, when did Odyssey of the Mind begin? 1978. But anyway, the New York chapter has put out a Statue of Liberty, Omer, version. Every year since 2013. That's what this one is. I have the 2013. I do not have 2014, which is purple. I do not have 20... F Wait a second. Okay. 2013, 2015, orange. 2016, red, white, and blue. 2017 is camo. This is 2018, tie-dye. 2019 is gold and blue. And this is 2020. And believe it or not, they did. 2021, it's rainbow with a mask, you know. And they did 2022 silver. They did 2023. It actually looks like Beetlejuice. And then this year they did one that looks like Barbie. What? You'd be surprised how hard these things are to come by on eBay. All right, let's talk about some artists. Way back, Liberty and Sanity 7. I talked about my, one of my favorite artists, Hudson Talbot, and his book, The Lady at Liberty, uh, which I should have just brought because these two images are from that book. But uh, these are enormous pens. Somebody jacked his images. I like the little touch of iHeart pens. And I think these are Little League trading pens. So you know about Disney trading pens. You know about Hard Rock Cafe pens. Odyssey the Mind pen trading. But Little League Baseball also has a big draw for pen trading. And then there's, you know, promo pens. For corporations and stuff. This is Pecky, the mascot of Amazon. Alexa, when was Pecky created? I remember it does stand for impeccable. Not peculiar, impeccable. So this guy's named Pecky. And way back... Liberty and Sanity 43. I had one of these two. I don't remember which one. Uh, but they're very similar and very boring. Since then, they've done two more. The one with the rainbow. And the one on a faux 25 cent postage stamp, which says the 4th of July. Uh, very cool. Now, allegedly, supposedly, right along those lines... This is a Walmart promo pen. It doesn't say Walmart, but that certainly looks like their smile. And, you know, it's curious looking. I like it. Now, the Hershey Chocolate Factory, I guess, in New York or Pennsylvania. I don't know if there's one in New York and Pennsylvania. But at one point, they did a Hershey Kiss. Liberty Style. I think there was one in New York to compete with the m and Superstore. And then, uh, look, I even got, I had a bearific time in New York. Build-A-Bear. Computer, when did Build-A-Bear workshop 
start. 1997. This pin is from 2009. So that's cool. And then, oh my gosh, Comic Con last year delivered us two new pins. Uh, if you look at Liberty Insanity 12, I show you a lot of New York City Comic Con related pins. Uh, but the artist known as Truck Torrance, he created the dumpster fire figure back in 2020 and he's been making variants of it ever since so this is uh, a pin they put out for New York Comic Con last year Statue of Liberty holding a dumpster fire as the torch uh, I kind of like it Alexa when is New York Comic Con now this artist Brian Cook he puts butts on things and I had to get this NYCC pin set for this it was right there so now you get to see the Statue of Liberty's butt looks like she's mooning New Jersey uh, but otherwise there's a butt on the Empire State Building there's a Big Apple butt in the New York City Comic Con where the two C's make the butt cheeks. Uh, let me know if this image is in one of his books. I'd probably go ahead and get one of his books if it has Statue of Liberty butt. That's literally all he does and, and people love it. Butts on things. Fruit and veg and buildings and everything else. Ah, I got this one. New York Comic Con 2015. And it is Loot Crate. I don't even know if they're still around. Computer, when did Loot Crate begin? And are they still around? Loot Crate began in 2012 and went bankrupt in 2019. Uh, but it's very ugly, very low quality, but I paid like five bucks for it. And it is a left-handed liberty. I always point out when these people put the torch in the wrong hand. Because why? Why? You had one job. Correct, 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 correct. Everything is correct. Now, I've shown Liberty Flex before. It's one of my favorites of all time by The Field Supply. And I've shown Anthony Petri's Liberty Persist pin before. But kind of along that vein is United We Stand actions realized by Real Skateboards. Talk minus action equals zero. And it says United We Stand, which is a very popular phrase that happened 23 years ago, such as on that. United We Stand with the uh, with the resist fist. Now this one is not resist, but persist. Love that image. I should have got his print when it was available. All right. Stay strong. Stay strong, resist, persist, and pursue, uh, pursue liberty. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of insanity.